All right, in this video, we're going to go over a couple quick copy tricks. Um, I don't know why this is a section, but I came to realize that there's some really cool uh, tricks for copying into spreadsheets. So um, number one uh, thing to know is that any time you're copying information from a table or grid, it's going to go into your spreadsheet in exactly the same format. So um, <clears throat> if we go over to the Battleship web page, uh, we, uh, sorry, Battleship Wiki page, rather, you'll see that they've got the class of ship and size, which, of course, is the same information that we had here, the class of ship and size. Um, so, spoiler alert, folks, I didn't actually type this, I just copied it directly from the Wiki page. So, uh, to do that, all I have to do is copy this part of the grid, Command-C, okay, and it's going to automatically go in when I paste here, I go over here, I press Command V. It's going to automatically put in all the information as though it's in a grid. It'll also carry over uh, any links, so I can actually click on any of these links. Those links were in the original document, or in the original website. So, um, so then what I could do is I could, I don't need these numbers, I'll delete all those. Now, um, you'll see everything is kind of off now. Uh, here's another copy trick. So rather than having to go over here and press command X to cut and then command V to paste instead of doing that that is one way to do it but I can go back here I can highlight all five or all uh, ten of these cells and then if I move to the edge any of the edges you'll see that the cursor turns into a hand that means it's ready to grab it so I can actually grab this whole thing and just pull it over so I can move this wherever I want on the page very easily. So that's a, another cool copy trick. Uh, another copy trick, this doesn't really apply to what we're doing right now, uh, but it is a helpful trick to know. So I, I got some sample data. Perhaps somebody uh, hasn't moved on and hasn't started adopting using Google Sheets and they're still putting tables into their documents uh, or, or whatever, you have to get a table from a document. Um, but this person also doesn't realize that it's always a good idea to have multiple cells for first and last name. Make them separate. That way you can sort and organize it by first name or last name. Um, you want all of those data points separate. So um, you can see this person put in the, the students' names all in one cell as opposed to separating them. So what I'm going to show you now is how we can separate them. So I'm just going to take the names. I'm not going to get the grade level yet. I'm going to press Command C, copy it, go in over here, and then I'm going to paste my data where I want it, Command V. Now notice as soon as I do that, this little clipboard shows up. Uh, I can change the formatting of how it's pasted. So I click on this, and I can split those that text the text to columns, and it can either de detect automatically or you can set uh, whatever the parameter is to switch it or to separate it. In this case, there was a space in between the first and last name, so I'm going to click on space, and you'll see that it automatically separates the first and last name into separate columns. And then I would just go back over here, copy this, Command C, and paste it right next to it. Oops, I guess I can just do this, can I? There we go, and that's all repaired. So uh, some neat uh, copy and paste tricks. Uh, hopefully that's helpful for you. Uh, we've got a couple more cool tricks coming up.